Welcome to Rob's Rules, where the rules are simple. There are rules. I'm here, you're there, and today, Johnny Depp claims that he has more evidence to show that, in fact, the incident of May 2016 that Amber Heard is a liar. So let's go over this article and see what evidence he claims he has that hasn't been released yet that's going to prove that she lied about the L.A. incident. Johnny and his team have new and explosive testimony from two of the responding officers plus new body cam footage, which we did see, that they believe will finally turn things around in his favor. They are convinced it will show that Amber Heard made up claims about the alleged 2016 brawl in an attempt to ruin him, says the source, noting that the actress, 35, intentionally stated that Depp 57 threw a phone at her during the incident and left her with a black eye. And this comes from OK. That's the name of the article. That's what it's from. We, now, we've seen both videos, and if you haven't, you could check check out my Johnny Depp shorts videos where you'll see body cam footage from both the first officer and the second officer. The video shows a neat apartment with nothing out of place, nothing broken or anything to suggest a knockdown fight had just occurred. Adds the source, Johnny's always maintained his innocence and now he's confident this evidence will prove it. Johnny doesn't plan on stopping there. He's working on a tell-all that he intends to release as soon as he's declared innocent. Spills the source, adding that it will detail what happened on the night in 2016 and throughout their year-long marriage. Johnny feels that Amber never really loved him. His friends warned him not to marry her, but he didn't listen, and he's paid a dear price for it. Johnny's team has testimony from the officers, from the body footage that we see, and he's got a tell-all. Something else he claims that he's going to talk about everything that has happened to him. And they feel that this will prove his innocence from the May 16th incident in the L.A. penthouse. Now, we have seen footage from the L.A. penthouse, and we have heard <clears throat> from... Josh Drew, and we are going currently going over Raquel Pennington. If you missed any Elso Isle Tillett, we got diversion from him. If you missed those videos or the live streams, I'll have a link also in the comment section to the May 2016 incident as we're going to continue this Wednesday to do a live stream about Raquel Pennington and her statement of truth. I will also do a video to sum it up in case people missed the live stream. We will then jump into Amber Heard and Johnny Depp and what they had to say. We will also jump into the, the first officer's deposition from 2016. So there's a lot to cover, but we're going to cover every nook and cranny and unturn every stone we have to for the sake of proving one thing, that Johnny is innocent and there needs to be justice for Johnny Depp. I still, to this point, can't understand... How people can back up Amber Heard after all the evidence that is being presented is pretty, pretty overwhelming. And how a judge in the UK can just take her word for it and say, well, it's nice that you have all these people. And Josh Drew was such an awesome, awesome witness. Yes, an awesome witness that lied. Josh Drew, a man that claimed that he cooperated with the police and showed them around. A man that claimed there was bro broken frames, and the police saw all this. Yet in the footage, we clearly see that he didn't want them even in the apartment. And through the first officer's deposition, it was the same thing. They tried to keep them out to the point that even Amber Heard came out of the apartment until they finally went in. And what did these, the first set of officers see? Nothing. 
nothing wrong with the apartment, no broken f frames as they had claimed, no broken glass as they had claimed. And Josh Drew, even though he said he cleaned up the glass so the dogs wouldn't step on it, he also said that the rest they left alone. And also something else I want to point out about this, Josh Drew said in a deposition that Amber took mushrooms, ecstasy, and other types of drugs, which makes me believe if she threw pots and pans at him, kicked him with a door, put a cigarette in his cheek, and broke his finger, severed it. Whose drugs make who the monster here? The damage was done physically and mentally to Johnny Depp, not to Amber Heard. I will continue to prove this for the next year. But you let me know what you think in the comment section below. Check out the other videos from the May 16th incident so you can keep up with us here on the channel. Wednesday night we'll go over Raquel Peddington's statement of truth. We will also hopefully cut into Amber Heard and talk about her statement of truth. Check out the description below for my store. Hopefully you'll see something you like. Or you can make a suggestion to something you want me to make. Also, don't forget to check out Tammy's Tips and Tricks on Instagram. Come join the Discord. We have a great time there, and you could always talk to me on the Discord. Check out my Twitter. You could also talk to me there through my DM if you want to. Check, Join the members. Become a member and join us, and you can tell your story in a safe, loving, and caring environment. Hope you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Come join the 4,000 people that have subscribed to this channel. I love you. I can't thank you enough for 4,000 people. I would never thought that when I had zero and struggled just to get to 20 people. Thank you so much. I love you very much, and I'll see you next time. Right here in Rob's Rules. Take care.